I am doing a great work. And I cannot come down. Okay, now say great with a little bit of, uh, right? I'm doing a great work. And I cannot come down. The enemy cannot destroy us. He will distract us. Was it a sin for Nehemiah to meet these guys? No. Was it smart? No. See, a lot of what we face as Christians, it may not necessarily be a sin to do certain things. It might just be pretty dumb. There's not a whole lot of wisdom in it. So here's my question to you. If you look at Nehemiah, you notice that in his response, he doesn't stroke the fires of controversy. He doesn't say, you were lying and you were trying to kill me and this is the... Uh. He, he, just, he doesn't even escalate the situation. He just sticks to his great work, his priorities. I'm doing a great work. I cannot come down. So the question is naturally this. What is your great work? What are those privileges, responsibilities, obligations that God has called you, uniquely you, to accomplish? Some of you are in school. Some of you are married. Some of you are raising kids. Some of you are leading ministries. What are the great works that God has given to you? And then the follow-up question, and I would encourage you guys, have that conversation. Have it with your spouse, your family, your care group. Think this through as we apply this. What are the great works that God has given me to accomplish? And then the second question, a follow-up, would be this. Are you becoming more effective, more loving, more connected, more skilled, more productive in the great work that God has given you to do, or are you becoming more distracted? If the enemy can't destroy you, he'll distract you. The average worker, according to statistics, switches tasks at their job every three minutes. We spend an average of 11 hours a day now on screen time. We are now always connected, and so therefore we are always distracted. Somebody else's urgency and agenda can immediately come to us in a millisecond. So let's do a quick survey to just apply this real quick, okay? How many of you check your phones in the middle of a conversation you're having with a human being in front of you. How many of you will drive while using your phones? How many of you go into the bathroom with your phone? How many of you will start reading a book and end up on your phone?